Welcome back team. You're gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War and we are playing Old Crow Balthazar. It is my, one of my first allied run throughs and we'll see what he did to us today. All right so uh, we're trying very hard to become an offensive China. However, uh, he keeps doing things like that, making me think about what he's doing. Let me back to, well, I guess I can't do anything here. There I go, made it a little bit bigger. Let's see what else he's doing. So he's leaving there. I got that guy down there just in time. Although all the other ports are still open as well. Now the question is, can I sink that guy? I brought my submarine forward last time. Ouch. I can see you, headquarters. I can see you. Can I get there and hit you? Where's he attacking? Oh, he's got some submarines protecting it. Ouch. Double ouch. Where's his tank set? Triple ouch. I see no armor. Don't kill him. Okay. You were treated away. That's all right. I know I still have a supply suck fest up there. We're going to try to fix it. All right. So that wasn't terrible. However, that said, I did not see any, not one piece of armor that time. And I didn't see him last time. So what does that mean? That means you retreated him back. Probably next to some place where there's good supply. Oh, look at that. Battleship. And he's upgrading them, which means I'm going to see tanks for soon. Okay, there's an Italian. Heavy tanks now available for the UK. Okay. And the U USA. Well, we'll be doing that. And check it out. Just in time. Uh, get another army. Which we can wait for just a second. So, properties, nothing. Okay, new guys. Tenth, the 10th tenth UK Army. The Anderson headquarters. And an Australian garrison, which we know we wanted to get there. I think we were going to do this. Double time him down to Melbourne. And then drop uh, the new guy in Canberra. Alright, looks like I finally get another headquarters. That's going to be very timely, just in time for other guys. So this guy here is doing something squirrely and he might be going to Perth.
set mode to hot. Come on down. I could try to get them off the coast. Supply of 10. I could get them off the coast. All right, so let's see here. Don't want them to see us. We go here. No, that's not quite right. Go here. Here. I put him right here, and if he tries to get away. Okay, wait a second. Let's think about this. If he's got a battleship in here, what is that? Yeah, it's a battleship. Then likely, he's got more there. So I'm not going to try to go after that guy. Because if there's any carriers in here, and he spots me, and I'm sunk. So let's just... Let's just kind of sit out here. You... I kind of want to sneak... Sit over here. There we go. Now I'm not hunting that lane. These are all separate. I should have brought him back here just to cut that lane. Do that next time. So I'm not cutting this lane. Because then he'll know I'm there. But. This looks... Like he had a partisan show up, or at least cut it. So in order to get that back, he's got to drop a dude back in there. Maybe, just maybe, I can catch him unaware. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, so he might try to go down to here. i got to put something in Perth. <sighs> That'll be another garrison. All right. So, let's see what else the situation is looking like. I got something in the water over here. That is my headquarters. I'm attempting to try to get around the corner and over into the Middle East to help out those uh, unfortunate fighters. Here we have an anti air. How far can he go? Well, he could get into a port. One that's workable. So he's flying. I was going to reinforce these aircraft. Only one point. Oh, that's miserable. Why is that? Because the port sucks. That's why. So I need a decent port. Okay, these guys are all ready to go. We know they can't jump into there. Looks like I can't use him to go into Italy proper. He's too far. But I can't get into Tripoli. We need to schwack him. That's not going to help me any. Bomber. 
corners, you go up. You need some mobility, man. Come on, Bradley. Give me some mobility. You. How much supply did do they go to zero supply? I only got five now. He's got six. He's got six. Okay. If I upgrade you to long range aircraft, that costs ten. I'm not doing anything else this time anyway. Garrison. One guy inbound. He's a ranger. I'm going to wait on that because I want to put these guys back into the water. the other side. Damn it. Here, he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get to there next time. This guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can get to there. Maybe grab that port if there's nobody there. Okay, so what all of you are telling me is correct. I'm going to need some air down here. And lots of it if he's already got fighters. Got a headquarters. We get the French Corps. waiting to get onto a, a hex. So if he's got a guy here, what did he have in Rome? I mean, that's... That hex can hit. I think I need to get my paratroopers up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you can jump in there next time. That guy will be able to get there. This guy can get there. That'll give me a lot more options. Let's just go jump in. And he jumps with a supply of 10. That's good to know. I didn't know that they do that. I'll prepare again next time. But from where is the question? From here, I can certainly jump to better places. I think I need to be in supply five in order to do it. That's going to take two turns. I'm going to 
to go ahead and upgrade your fighters now. Even though I should just do the one reinforcement. That's going to be more important. I guess the way to get more supply by popping a headquarters unit in here. Except I don't think the Canadian can deal with uh, American troops. So this may take just a little while longer. Also, he spotted me. I don't have anything in the water. There's no reason not to go back. You can't upgrade yet. You'll be a five next time. You'll be a five next time. Uh, that kind of makes me want to do this. All right, we'll work on him. And we're going to bring some more air down here. Definitely some fighters. All right, over here. Okay, he is... Okay, he can only go to there. He's real small. Even though the rating is seven, that's for shit. And he's a Sudanese guy, and that's my Sudan Corps, and that's my Sudan Corps. Did I waste an opportunity here? Why did I move him into there? Cross. It's got to be a better way to do this. Supply is shitty all along the line. Supply is better, much better next time. He'll, he's an eight, which means that guy's supplying him. Okay, that's that's properly done. Now you upgrade to air defense too. Might as well do that now. That's why we had you in port. Okay, so we have a little bit of intelligence. We see a battleship here. Last time we saw a 
carrier. I want to say it was either in here or in here. I want to say it was in here somewhere. Anyway, they're not over here. So let's uh, let's split, make them split their forces. Let's set convoy mode to Raider. Let's go sit on this route. I know his submarines are down by Australia, right? So they're not here. They can't come up and sub me. But if they do, I'm going to try to be ready for them. The other thing I think I need to do... Although he does have planes to bomb me. But I'm anti-aircraft too, now, so that's okay. Um... That's the best you can do on a ship anyway. And I've got to bring an escort carrier over. All right, we're going to set you up. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have moved the sub up. Should have left this guy over here. I'm going to bring him back. That was a mistake. All right, so upgrade our stuff. He's got some planes down here that we can see. We have uh, Slim up here now. We brought him in last time. So we need to move him forward. Let's go ahead and do set mode auto assist and find out where you're currently at. Um, currently not on that one, which is bad. So let's undo this guy. He's way in the back. And attach him. He's way in the front. All right, that's looking a little bit better. You're going to attach what you're going to attach. It's raining. Can't do much there. Uh, I don't know if he moved or not. He might be prepped. Move him down. I think we figured out he can't reach over there, so that's good. Supply-wise... Fairly crappy, but not terrible. This right here is the one that hurts. It's only a one. Okay, what are you doing? Let's move you down. He doesn't know what I have there, so... He's going to start moving back because I'd rather have this guy back here. It would be great to cut this guy out of supply, right? And we'll switch Rooney these two guys next time. You. Wish I could upgrade you. You. I don't know. That's a one in there. That would really blow chunks. And it's very low supply. Next turn. It's not going to get any better. He... <sighs> could put him in by reducing that guy. Let's do that. Always move around next time. Question is, is do I want to move that tank forward or not? Because you can come here and pop them at a supply of one blows chunks. Mm. 
I don't know. Okay, what are we doing over here? I'm going to repair some planes because they're getting beat down hard. And we'll upgrade them next time. Now, where is his headquarters? Uh, I think it was in Jerusalem, right? So let's go find out. Got one guy flying cover. No, oh, there's a tank. All right. And we got somebody in Amman. I think we're going to burn this down. So, no more air. Where does air go? He pulled his air out. Pulled his air out. bomb that thing again. Keep him from repairing that battleship. All right. So now, it's going to take a while for this guy to get up there. Two more turns, and then I can go fix stuff. Oh, I still have this guy. What's this guy doing? It's a garrison. What do I want that garrison to do? I don't want that garrison to do. Forget what I had him doing. Got to be something, though, right? Had to be something. Oh, whatever it is, let's move him on up with some alacrity. You know what? I can take that garrison over this way. Let's move him towards Perth. You can probably get there next time. Just in case this guy wants to go south. The max he's got is 16, so he's not going to get there, but I can get there. Okay, that works out. Okay. So we're hoping to do some ambushing with some of these subs. That'll be fine. Now, let's get back to this. Can we do anything at all to make him hurt? I don't think so. Why is this guy that hurt? There's just nothing going on there. I'm just taking a beating here. I'm just taking a beating. Until I get my supply properly situated and the units properly situated, this guy's definitely got to come back. It got to be swapped out. All right, so where's his headquarters? Could be in Damascus. You can reinforce. Oh, and I should have gotten a second ADA there. All right. Here. What does he have in a... I know he had... A, he's, so I found his tank, and he had a mech unit somewhere. And probably another core. supply like here well it's not bad it's not bad so you're Brit though I don't think you get supply from these guys so we'll 
will be careful with you. You can still jump. I don't want that aggravation. However, you can still move. So, I'm going to move you to here. You're, you're not in supply by any means. Your supply right there is six. Why is it six? But no headquarters. Okay, no headquarters. So we're going to move to here. Fly you to here. All right. So I think we're done over here for now. Do I want to do anything with this guy? I don't think I do. Hopefully these guys won't get destroyed. All right, so I think we're kind of done in Africa. That was a non-move. I really kind of want to surround this guy, but what I'm scared of is that he's got more over here. This guy, if I'm right, he pulled everybody back to some place where they can refit. So he's refitting and probably upgrading. And that's going to be bad for me if he's got a strength four dude. That's going to be bad for me. Although I think this situation will uh, fix itself here fairly rapidly. Is there anything else I can buy for Sedan? Nope. South Africa could buy a core and an army. That's good to remember. That's good to remember. New Zealand's still got a bunch of stuff they can purchase. So do they. Canada's got a whole bunch of stuff too. Well, I'll tell you what, a maritime bomber in the med here would be fantastic. Uh, we're going to move you up only because we don't have another port. So you can go slow. Alright, so over here. We have fighters. We're going to need fighters. Where are we going to need fighters at? I think we said we need fighters here. So they're going to have to get operated. Boy, and I sure do want a maritime bomber over here. Let's put them right on the corner. Pretty sure that's going to be good enough to upgrade. Supply being what it is, seven, yeah, that'll be great. All right. Yeah, we could also do Marseille. But boy, wouldn't I love to get a national morale objective. So we're going to have to fly guys over. And I think I'm going to put a fighter up here. Operate, spend 33. Not much supply up here, though. Look, notice I can't get them here for some reason, even though that's mine.
So if I can't upgrade them, is it worth it? I think I'll put them down here and then get then fly them up there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> Let's check out his range first. Do I upgrade them now or do I upgrade them now? I think I'm just going to upgrade them here. I'll upgrade them in place. I'll move them next time. You get on a boat. You are on a boat. You're good. Let's go check the other side in the Pacific. I don't think there's anything else going on here. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to amphibiously assault French Guiana. Isn't that what we wanted to do? Crap. Totally forgot about that. Well, we'll have to purchase something else. Um, next turn is July. Still... Get an escort carrier, some tanks, some strategic bombers, another headquarters. I'm going to need some troops. Uh, I could really use some special forces guys, but they're all out. Nothing there. Mexico still got some stuff I can buy. I probably should, just to give that Canadian dude something to, to handle. All right, let's go over to the Pacific. Let's bring these out. Okay, so we thought about something, right? We thought about doing something sneaky. Everybody's telling me i got to take these guys off the boat. And they're telling me that because they don't have any strikes. However, that said, if I land them up here in the North Island, I could get there now. Let's go here. No, we're not going to land. This guy, he could land there. So people were asking, I don't think you're allowed to land him. Yeah, I could land him. And I could take that island up here. But I don't want to set off any alarms just yet. So... I don't know when this guy gets iced in. I don't want him to get iced in. It's August. We're going to be... Okay, so we're not landing there yet. What we're going to do is we're going to just come over in here behind him. We're just going to drop some dudes. Maybe in Nagata and this industrial center. Or maybe we need to cut off the northern part of the island and land here and here. Right. We can do that from behind. We can get here, drop, and land. We could get here and get in, especially if they're empty. Especially if they're empty. So I got two guys there, plus this guy can jump in afterwards. Plus this guy's got a strike. So here's what I think. I think I can only put one more guy in long-range amphibious transport. You know, we're going to try to make this more difficult for him. All right, so you're going to go. You've got zero strikes. Head north. I really need a headquarters to join them, though.
It's raining there. I can't do anything. You go up ahead and get upgraded battleship to anti-sub 2. Just in case something funky happens. I know he's got subs over there. He's also got German subs. Uh, we're going to want to put something in here. So we're going to fly him from there to there. Let's see if this is empty or not. I don't want to be right on it. But we're going to fly right over it. Nah, see, he brought guys in. I, th I thought he did that one time. Maybe we get lucky and jump on a uh, submarine again. Right there. Oh, he moved. Well, I can hurt him. I can hurt the town. Or him. Whatever I did, it was good. Oh, that was like a strategic bombing. Okay. All right, let's hide the units. What's under there? Oh, that was a mine. Okay. You're going to come back up here. You guys are going to go to set mode fighter, and we're going to drop back. You guys are going to go to set mode fighter. I'm going to drop back and get upgraded. Same thing with you. Once I have fighter three on here, it'll be a lot harder for him to deal with me. Oh, I should have brought him forward. That's okay. Uh, we'll bring you forward just to make sure there's nobody coming in from the south. So I need a couple of more. You come this way. You come that way. You come here. You come there. Need another one. Not enough ports. Ooh, it's dangerous to get this close. Dangerous to get this close. But we do want our upgrades. guys are out here kind of flopping this round, but that's okay. This guy wants to stay close enough we can come back to port if he needs to. Probably that one right there. We've got another port right here that we can get into if we must. You know what? I don't want to leave him out there flopping. Come on back. So we're going to put our, uh, we're going to kind of put our money on going up north and in. So we're going to go north. I really want to get to the central and cut them off. The only way I'm going to be able to figure out what's there is if I have a plane over here that can look. I might be a Russian that I have do that. That's going to take me a couple more turns to get into place. But that will change that will change the dynamic of the game if I land in here with by the way I need a headquarters unit otherwise it's all for naught, right? So I'm prepping to get a headquarters unit on 10 September. 
That's still a ways out. And September. And September. You can't fly, it's raining. You can fly, though. Nothing there. It's raining up north, so whatever. Nothing there. All right, we got pretty good visibility. Um, We're tracking. Forty-three. I think forty-four is going to be a big surprise for him. If I get my headquarters in September, October, he'll be out here. November, I'll be landing with one, two, three, four amphibious, followed by the headquarters and this guy into a port. That'll work out great. Don't call so that'll work out. I wonder what he has in here. If he's got anything worthwhile or not. Um, if I attack with the Russians, he might bring troops up there. Which will clear the islands, the home islands, and I could jump in. All right, so I think we're done with the American movement. Let's go check up here. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Um, let's transport him out to an island somewhere. Into the Pacific. Okay. Uh, you're a sub. You are moving to Perth. You are moving around the Horn. These guys are fine. That's all good. We've kind of done what we can do in here. Hopefully these guys will be able to do something next turn. I might have to bring them back just a little bit. Hopefully they'll survive this. But there's Germans in Italy. We know that now. All right, so over here, Soviet Union. Gosh, these guys are hurting. He took a butt weapon. He's got to get reinforced. He still has a good chance of stopping everything there. You're going to come over here. I know he had tanks here. He had a lot of them here. And he had tanks up here, and they all disappeared. So that is bad news. God, that's so expensive to reinforce. I don't have any fighter cover right now, so... I wish he wouldn't have taken Syria. I mean, if I get Turkey now, then he's right there. So now I can't, I can't really make that happen. Okay. Entrenching behind here. But if he's got a bunch of tanks that comes around, that's not good. All right, you've made your bones. And you're still coming. You've been repaired. Well, you can step forward and hit somebody. Might as well.
boost that morale, baby. Okay, so if he pulled him back last turn, he upgraded him this turn, which means next turn tanks are still coming. So I have to keep that in mind. Okay, so I do, do I move him back? I don't think so. I think I'll reinforce him one more turn. He is covered by that guy. He's covered. These two are covered. That's about right. So we have these guys. What do we have coming? Got another tank coming in July. Okay, later on. Okay. So these guys I get now. That's an army, a corps, and a headquarters. All right, so... He's really going to want this area. I'm sure of it. All right, well, the headquarters. This guy could be over here, right? I'm scared over here, though, too. Let's see, how far can you study? How far can you go? You can go all the way to these guys. Okay, that's good to know. So putting that headquarters here is not a bad idea. However, it may be in range of something. Let's go check out up north what's happening here. He continues to attack these guys in the entrenchments. I'm okay with that. Wish I would add time for one more. Continues to attack my motorized here. Whose morale is about half. That's fine. He had a guy there. So this, this British dude who's been sailing around forever wants to go do something else. What if I hit this guy? Should be able to hurt him, right? And maybe escape? Or do I need him for the eventual assault over here? Getting some relief on Murmansk would not suck. Hopefully he'll pull him out. If he does, I can just give him an elite reinforcement. He's nice and entrenched there. He's looking good. This guy continues to suffer from attrition. Oh, no, he's got some supply now. Not much going on over here. I need these fighters down south. After I get my next tank, that's what I'm going to be breaking through. All right, so new units. Headquarters. Here. First Guards Army. Here to reinforce this area. Or he might be coming over here. I just don't know. Get behind that river. And that core. It's 
So this is the industrial area. This is what I need to protect, right? Besides Moscow, of course. Here or here? If he tries to squeeze in there, I can cut him off from two directions. I think this one's more important. And on the rail, please. Thank you very much. All right, you... are kind of fine. You're regaining your thing. This is kind of open, but that's okay. All right, so I think we've done what we're going to do with them. These guys continue to burn down that port. These guys continue to Let's go see. Let's go see what he's got in here. There he is. That's going to hurt. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. Time to get out of dodge. All right, but I can probably kill him. Yeah. Ah, oh, he gets away. So maybe we can still get him. All right. Now, the only thing that's going to scare me now is a maritime bomber. Okay, you're going to get upgraded. Reinforced, rather. Then upgraded. You've got your supply back. So... Come on in here. You need an upgrade. So what is my research looking like here for the Brits? Command and control is good. We're all maxed out other than industrial technology, but that's okay. I don't think we need it. Spying and intelligence would be kind of important. Ground attack would be kind of important. Advanced tanks would be kind of important. And advanced fighters are definitely important. So we're going to go to advanced fighters. And we're going to add one to here to max that out so we can get some additional amphibious warfare things when we're ready to do that. I don't think we have any more additional units, but we need some. So. Let's think on it. What else do we need? We only have 74, so we're not going to get a lot, so it doesn't matter. America has 294. Well, let's purchase the last tank. Ooh, can't afford it. What if we did one less of these? There we go. And that's to romp around in Africa. Okay, now we're out of money. The Soviets have lots of more money. All right, so the Soviets need more units. And the Soviets, let's go check their research. Do we have the advanced tanks in? We do. We have the advanced fighters in. We definitely need that. We're doing artillery, so we're going to buy some artillery. Armored warfare is almost complete. Can't add anything to that. So let's purchase. Let us purchase the last heavy tank. Three sixty. 
leaving me with 100 and some. Let's get a core first. Need some cores. 172 and 360. I think that'll be fine. 360, 180, 540. leaving me with six. All right. Got to get them heavy tanks in there, especially if he has level four tanks now. Plus, he gets to build heavy tanks too, I'm sure. Okay, let's go over to China. China. Do want to bomb this headquarters. But before we do that, I guess we're going to detach that and attach that. He's got two headquarters. Huh. I have more down there than I thought. I think it's going to be time to start blockading this port. Is that time now? I don't know. Well, let's bomb the headquarters. Didn't do any good. Reduce his readiness by a lot. We've done 50. And he took some damage. We'll save the other shell for now. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think next turn we're going to come over here in mass and we're going to blockade this out, put a sub back in there. Bring some uh, folks over here to start blockading that port. Because he's cut. So Rangoon is the place to be. Boy, I sure wish I had that special forces unit over here. We do an amphibious transport with him. But he doesn't get that second strike after I land. I could kill that thing. India. They have a special forces. It would take till December to arrive. Oh. Mm. Yep, India, you need a special forces unit. You want the Gurkhas. Let's do it. That's going to be fun if I get an Indian Special Forces unit over here and I kind of drop in over here. It'll take a while, but I can also go after Singapore and, and DEI with that. Hopefully by December I will have this mostly under control over here. Reinforce. Reinforce. Oh, and that's that's the problem can't reach that hex. Okay. Good to know. Who 
He'll be pulling back next time. The heavy artillery is going to get in there next time. I should have swapped out and I should have swapped and, uh, and reinforced. That was my bad. But as long as these guys hold, it doesn't matter. They're just holding on to troops here. How come I can't get in there? Why are these guys not taking charge of them? Okay. Let's see where supply lies here. There's still a six up there. Let's make them scared that I'm going to come around the side. <laughs> that I have more units than I actually do. Do I have any new units? No. Still have 200 and some, so I can upgrade some things. You, reinforce you. Research anything here? China? China's got what matters. Let's buy that army back. Should leave us with no money. Oh wow, these guys got a lot of stuff to buy. I didn't know they had that much. Definitely gonna get some heavy artillery next time. I did not know that. Communist Chinese have some some serious forces they can bring to bear. They're they're usually never used. I think I'm gonna get an opportunity to do that this time. Uh, yeah, next time if I if I remind myself. It's going to be an artillery piece coming in coming in there. You can slowly come back. All right, so that's good for you. I just want to threaten. I want to spread them thin. I want them to keep moving units so that when the time comes, there's nothing in the home islands. That is my plan. That is my plan. I think I just, I'll, I'll keep these. That'll be great.
and we'll go from there. Seems like to make a lot of sense. We're going to have to bomb this. I wish I had a strategic bomber over here, but I don't. Uh, what else do we have back at home? Nothing, right? Just that plane that we got to get over. That's going to be happening. Guess we could jump over there now. See, right now he's got supply of six. Let's see what happens when I jump in. Now I'm supply 10. Okay. Now let's start burning this down. Um, plus, cert is empty, which is good to know. Certe. Benghazi, I'm sure, is not. We'll start burning down this entrenchment next turn. Take out Tripoli. I want him thinking that it's all North Africa. Maybe I'll move. I mean, the last time I checked, this was just completely full other than this one square right here. He's got a supply of 10, so he can still jump next turn. So I might as well move him here and then prep him for the jump. All right, another long one. They, they, they're getting longer now. Sorry, guys, but I'm thinking about it a little bit better than I used to. Okay, we need to continue to build this. This guy might be hosed. Okay, I think I'm going to hit the go button, guys. I don't think I forgot anything. Don't think I forgot anything. Still have a unit back here. What's this guy doing? He's protecting New Zealand. He doesn't need to be doing that. Well, that's not true. He kind of does. That's the capital, right? Got to keep something in the capital. And unless I buy a New Zealand garrison, but even then, that's kind of iffy. So I'm going to leave him there for now. Although all these islands kind of need some cover. And the Brazilians. I really want to know what's in here. Could buy something for the Brazilians and then just amphibiously invade over there next time. We'll have to think about that. French Guyana is kind of a kind of an outlier. I don't know if it's worth spending the money to do that. All right. Yep, I'm done. Let's see what happens. Naval units continuing sailing west into the Pacific. Oh, okay. I thought it said sunk. I was like, what, what happened? Okay, we're at 21%. I'm going to have to prepare for that. Command and Control 2. Advanced Tanks gets a break. That's awesome. Industrial gets a break. That's awesome. And via 60 via the hump. Well, you know, India collecting 100 per turn ain't bad. I, minus 32, why? Am I giving it to somebody? Oh, to, uh, to Britain. Yep. Okay. You've been gaming with the Colonel. Please like, subscribe, come back early and often. OCB, it's your turn, and I am out.